Today was my first day in Ulumuchi, which is the capital of Xinjiang. In the morning, we visited the Yanghong Mosque, which in Chinese means overseas banks. It's located in an area of the city where a lot of banks and embassies used to be located, so that's why it's called the Yanghong Mosque. The mosque was built in 1897 by donations and is 100 years old. It has over 30,000 square feet. It was incredibly beautiful on the outside, very ornate, and the colors were just very calming, but very beautiful at the same time. The mosque was located in an area of the city that is very bustling. There's highways and high rises everywhere, and it's quite a contrast to the spirituality that's going on inside. Women are not usually allowed in the mosque, so it was a great opportunity for me to go into a mosque. As we approached the mosque, we had to take our shoes off. This was my first time to ever be in a mosque, so just to see the layout of where you could see where the people would stand and that it held three balconies. I believe it held over a thousand people that would worship at one time. The carpeting on the floor was beautiful. Most of it was green with patterns in it, but there were a number of carpets around the outside edge of the green, which was the main floor, and they were all different kinds of carpets. As we looked up, there's chandeliers, beautiful chandeliers and ornate writing and colors, really amazing. Imagine a thousand people praying in there. It must be so moving. In the afternoon, we were able to visit a Uyghur performance group that we were invited to watch. And basically, we were overwhelmed by new musicianship, new musical instruments, and an orchestrated sound that I'd never heard before. because I've never heard this music before. I never even knew the Uyghur people existed. And it's shocking to me that I didn't because their voices are so powerful and clear and the way the instruments sound is just, it's so moving. The song was introduced by a melody line on a, an instrument similar to a guitar. One of the singers came down off the riser and stood front and center in the middle of the room and sang a melody in unison with the guitar that was playing. And his voice was very clear, very pure, very loud for being 20, 30 feet away from me. He had the best expression on his face. He just seemed so calm and so relaxed. Part of the music is that there's dancers that are involved with this, and so we were able to see one of the dancers. The way their skirts move and the way their hair spins around them is just moving. I had seen musicians that I want to aspire to be like. These guys probably don't get the credit they deserve, and they are the top 1%. You can definitely tell 
This is their life, their passion, and you can feel it, you can hear it. This instrument's called the Kalum. It is very interesting to me because it seems to be the lead piece in the whole band. I hear the highest melodies and it reminds me of a lead guitar, which I play. We got to basically try a couple. It was a great experience that we'd never get a chance to ever have without coming here. This instrument is the sitar. It impressed me for a few different reasons. The first reason is that it has only one string that is played, and it has a bunch of strings that aren't played at all, uh, which I think is very interesting. And I also liked that the performer's father was a famous sitar player as well. I got to play one of the instruments, which was amazing. It was hard, but it was beautiful. I never even knew this music existed, and it's so beautiful and so amazing. <laughs> so coming over here and experiencing other music and other musicians, it's very overwhelming. I, I left there feeling very excited about my own music, about their music. Overall, this first day in Urumuchi has been mind-blowing. It's shocking to me that that I never heard this music before. It's very disappointing. But on the upside, I've heard it now. <laughs> and I'm really, really, I'm excited. Um, I think that it's going to have a really strong impact on my writing. Blown away by the musicianship and the, um, the abilities of all every person in the in the whole ensemble watching them perform and then getting to interact with them and grab their instruments and use them and and have them show us how to use them was a once in a lifetime opportunity this is a highlight of my life <laughs>